Right, this is the uh, third match between Belikov and uh, John. This is the tiebreaker match. Together with me, I have Owen. Hello again. Um, who is uh, on which side? Okay, so Rebelikov is the corporation. He apparently he thought his uh, saber was not very good. And John is the uh, runner. And. Uh, ooh. Wow, what ooh. a draw. Okay, interesting. He's probably not, be, not going to keep that. I think that you'd have to be feeling pretty gambly if you were going to keep Actually, that. I you can know see what, what you do. You know what? Yeah, you can go like hostile takeover, get money. Hostile takeover if he doesn't steal it, take money. And then go like sea source and score safe if he runs again. But it's risky, very, very risky. I, I think that's I think that's too high gamble, even for a, sticking for a tiebreaker. Just... He must be torturing, he must be uh, thinking about it really hard. If it's worth going for the super gamble here. And if he, the, the runner has a, uh, if the runner has a, um, a decoy, your gamble doesn't pay off. So, John Scott, Peacock Ninja, Femme Fatale. Holy shit. Free feedback and crash space. I'd be, I don't think you can keep this hand. As a flexible as it is, there's just nothing to get it going. Yeah, but I would still probably keep it because uh, that crash space is so good, I guess. Uh, <sighs> okay. Wow, this is going to be interesting. Oh, yes. Going for it. Oh, holy shit. He's well, this is going to be... Well, hedge fund as well. Ooh, ooh, this game is going to finish very quickly. <laughs> Depends on how much, you know, how much John gets out of his hand, because he's got to get down to three cards for this to work. Yeah. Okay, he's saying, okay, he doesn't have any agendas, that's why he left it open. And still, it's free money, so why why not run? Well, yeah, John will guarantee run HQ this round. Exactly. Or he, he, may be afraid, he may be afraid of a snare, don't forget that. Yes, but, I mean, mm, and he has got a lot of good cards in hand, so... Okay, so he's running. Nope, no agenda. Oh, so he's seen that. He's probably going to Always. play yet another hostile takeover before he actually plays that uh, combo. Just to make so he clear his uh, agendas from his hand. If he sees that sea source. <laughs> I mean, now he's seen Scorched Earth. It's going to be interesting to see what. Okay, okay hold on, hold on, hold on a second. He may actually... No, he's full. He has a full hand. Okay, now another hostile takeover, almost certainly. Very bold play from Velikov here. Balls to the this, wall. This is very bold, especially seeing as, you know, with those two one-pointers out of his deck now, especially seeing as he's holding a post of bounty, you know, the chances of a three or a two just went up in value, so... Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I, don't, I haven't seen John play Maker's Eye yet, I don't think, but... But I do think that John should... Oof, so many agendas at the start. John should play a bit uh, cautiously towards the, the end game. He has all those uh, bad publicity now. He can afford to play safely. <gasps> Holy shit! Wow. This, was, this is what we were afraid of. Yeah, come on. That's just bad luck, you know. Five agendas in ten cards or something. I mean, as, as, as John here, I'm probably thinking, wow, I've got a walk here. So I can just do whatever as a criminal. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the corporation that finishes his first two However, turns of the board if, like this. If he manages to pull another score test now, he wins again. Mm. It's going to be quite funny. So. I think that for his first action. Oh wait, no, that doesn't work because we'd have to play double score to death and see sort Yeah, okay, never mind. He's probably thinking so, if he saw a score death, he probably wants to play that uh, grass space. But if he does play that grass space, 
Oh man. Okay, so what do we have? Ice. Yeah, because we saw him look at a card and put it back, so. I guess that could have been Scorcher, but given that we haven't seen any ice yet, then. Yeah, it's very unlikely. What would you ice now? Um, I think I'd probably ice R and D. There we go. Only safe option. I mean, there's, there's not much you care about losing from your hand, I and mean, even post a bounty at this point isn't going to make much of a difference. Yeah. Most of your one pointers are gone from your deck already, so. Crazy amount of money for the corporation. I'm still amazed that he's gone with this opener, like, that really is the boldest move. It was very bold, it was very unlikely that he had so many agendas at the start, otherwise I think it would have worked much better. A, a part of me wants to say, um, part of me wants to, wants him to win for making such a bold move, but also the conservative in me says, this is silly, he uh, shouldn't win for this. Uh, there goes the one pointer again. Uh, question is, how do you get a Scorched Earth? Where is that Scorched Earth when you need it? Well, we've seen some incredible things today already, so you never know what he might pull out of the bag. Yeah, yeah. In many respects, I think... Um, I don't think what Rebellikov is going to do on his go. I mean, I guess it depends what he draws here, but... He played now. He does. And he's going to run R and D because he knows what that is. No, he's filling his hand. Come on, let's see if we have a score there. Nope, money. Oh, oh. oh. holy oh. shit! No, so he has to. He has to play hedge fund and take the credit, yeah, yeah. I assume. And if he doesn't lose next turn, he might actually win. Holy shit. Oh. This is unbelievable. Oh no. As, you know, as John, what are you thinking here? Is, you know, do you expect this is coming up? Yeah, maybe not. Would he play grass space or not? Is the question. The grass space is going to win him or lose him the game. I mean, without seeing Rebellical's hand here, strangest Wayland opening you will ever see. Yeah. Oh, holy shit. This can actually... What? That cross space is the win or lose of the game now. I mean, basically, this run on R&D, assuming it's not an agenda, decides the game, really. Yeah, and he's seen the one score set, so he may be thinking he's seeing the same one again. But if he sees that sea source, he might play that cross space. Holy shit. Oh, this is so close. But it seems that Crash Space doesn't save him because it prevents up to three meat damage. But isn't that three meat, isn't damage applied separately one at a time? No. Oh no, that's no, only on PSF, yeah. yeah. No, it saves him if he has five cards in his hand. So uh, all the runner has to do, the Corporation has to do is wait until he has four cards in his hand. <laughs> Played one. So that's his second click. Still got two more clicks. I mean... Yes! He won! He won! Unbelievable! Oh he my won. goodness. Oh he my won! Goodness. Unbelievable! This is unbelievable. Unbelievable! I really want to type, I'm afraid, so...
I do feel a bit bad for John because obviously he was ahead in a match that he disconnected in. Yeah. Well, only slightly, yeah. That match could have easily gone either way. But yeah, he could have scored one point and won. But as you saw in the first match, the second match, he scored one agenda and then he couldn't score anymore. So it's very, yeah. it's very likely he, you can't score more than one agenda. But well, that was um, that was probably the most. Um, I'm trying to think what the word is. Optimistic keeping of the mulligan. I just, I just, I don't think I will ever have more respect for a Wayland Doping than that. <laughs> 